everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video in today's video I'm going to share one of my secret anti-aging remedy with you this is in the form of a vitamin C gel and as you know vitamin C is amazing for the skin especially on aging skin this vitamin C gel will help to boost the collagen production in the skin it will help to tighten and firm the skin it will also help to clear the skin of dark spots and blemishes and leave in your skin with a younger fresher natural glow so if you're looking for an anti-aging vitamin C facial gel that you can whip up in the comfort of your home follow me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to do this now the first ingredient to make our vitamin C gel is orange what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be extracting the orange peel now orange peel contain antioxidant and using it regularly on the face will give your skin a clear and bright appearance orange peel also have antibacterial properties which makes it great for acne and oily skin what I like about the orange peel is that it helps to clear scars and blemishes from the skin brighten the skin from the skin and also will unclog pores and reduce blackheads and hyperpigmentation on the skin if you have aging skin orange peel is going to give your skin a natural glow while smoothing the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin now a good substitute for orange is grapefruit or lemon now what you might not be aware of is that the orange peel contains more vitamin c than the orange juice itself so definitely use up your orange peel in your homemade remedies now that we peel the orange i'm going to put the orange away to eat and then i'm going to chop the peel in small pieces now fresh orange is best for this recipe however if you do not have fresh orange and you only have dried orange peel you can go ahead and use that orange juice is not for this recipe we're only using the peel so once I cut this in small pieces I'm gonna place it in a pot since I'm gonna be boiling this now a small pot is good for this you really don't need a big pot since we're not making a lot so the next ingredient that I'm gonna use in the pot is actually just water I'm gonna pour about a cup and a half half water and then I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna introduce the next ingredient now let's take a look at our next ingredient here I have some flax seeds and flax seed is amazing for the skin it's a good source of several vitamins and minerals that will help to boost the collagen production lift tighten and also clear the skin from hyperpigmentation flax seed contains the electrolytes magnesium phosphorus and potassium it also contains vitamin B1 an amazing ingredient for the aging skin if you're looking to soften your skin if you're looking for to brighten your skin if you're looking to get a natural glow then definitely this combination of ingredients is going to do wonders for your skin so now that you know a little bit about the flax seeds what i'm going to do i'm going to take two tablespoons of the flax seeds and now we're going to put this aside and we're going to reach back for our orange peel now what we're going to be doing with this orange peel we are going to be boiling as a matter of fact we're boiling both the flax seeds and the orange peel so i'm going to take it to the stove top and as soon as it comes to a boil i'm going to pour the flax seeds in and then i'm going to continue to boil now take a look at this this is what it needs to look like while you are boiling both the flax seeds and the orange peel together now once this is boiling you will definitely know when it is ready at first it's gonna form a white peak on top of it and as soon as the peak start to disappear as soon as the whiteness start to disappear then take a look this is how it's gonna look as you can see it looking all jelly and creamy this is exactly how you want it to be this is going to take about five minutes or so to get to this stage. Now, once this is done, we're going to move from the stovetop. 
Now guys, you want to strain this one. It is very hot because if you wait for it to cool, it's going to be way too thick and you will have to use either a cheesecloth or a marine or something like that to strain it. But if you strain it while it is hot, it is not yet thick and that's exactly what I am going to do. I like to use a metal strainer to strain this. So if you have a metal strainer, use it. If not, just use the strainer you have. I don't suggest to use a cheesecloth to strain this while it is hot. It's definitely a strainer. And as you can see, it's not yet thick. It's just running nicely. Now, what am I going to do with the leftover orange peel and flax seeds? I'm going to put this aside to cool and then I'm going to make a facial scrub with this. So do not discard. So now that we strain, and this is the time that we are going to put this to cool. And take a look at this. This is what it looks like while it is hot. I suggest to put this aside for about an hour or so for it to cool. Now guys, it has been about two hours that I'm cooling my vitamin C gel and take a look at this guys. Look how jelly, look how rich this is. Now this vitamin C gel can be stored in your refrigerator for up to seven days. So to make our vitamin C serum, I'm going to reach for my small jar. And you can do this in batches or you can choose to do the entire thing. But because we got to use it up in seven days, I suggest that you just make it in small portion. Okay, so I'm going to fill my little jar up, which is about three tablespoons. Pour this in. This is so jolly. You can also choose to fill your small bottles with this before it is cooled. And now I'm just going to give it a little stir. And then I'm going to introduce my other additional ingredient. You can actually use this on your skin as is, guys. This is good to use as is. Loaded with vitamin C, minerals, which is great for the skin. However, if you want to kick this up a notch, you can add other ingredients to it. Turn this into an amazing anti-aging facial serum. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some Morella oil to this. This Morella oil will have to boost the collagen production, hydrates the skin. It will also have to clear the skin of spots and blemishes. And with the vitamin C combined, it's going to give you an amazing appearance to the skin. So I'm using about a half of a teaspoon of the Morella oil. And I'm going to add another ingredient to this. This is also going to help to preserve it. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of store-bought aloe vera gel. And now guys, our vitamin C gel is ready. Our anti-aging vitamin C gel is ready. So I'm just going to mix well, mix in the aloe vera gel and the morella oil. Now here it is, your anti-aging vitamin C facial gel. So I'm going to go on the other side and show you how to use for best results. Now to use your anti-aging facial gel, you want to apply it to clean skin. And this is best used at night. Apply it all over your face in circular motion. Focus on your neck and decollete also. And you're going to let it dry on your face before you go to bed, which is about five minutes. This can be stored in your refrigerator for up to seven days. Use every night for best result. Before you know it, you're on your way to younger, or fresher, tighter, firmer, amazing looking skin. So there you have it. What an amazing anti-aging vitamin C facial gel. Use this on your skin on a regular and you're on your way to looking up to 20 years younger. And if this is the first time watching and you want to see more of these amazing beauty secret, beauty remedies, then look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed also at the side there is a little bell if you click on that you will get a notification right away thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye